Okay, we want to welcome you to this installment of uh, the Jewish Christian Study Center Words of the Bible, the words of Jesus the Messiah. And so today we're going to be looking a little bit at uh, the story of Noah. And I know many of you are um, aware, uh, very aware of the story of Noah. Uh, we've learned it many, many times. And it says in Genesis 6 that Adonai saw that the people on earth were very wicked, that all the imaginings of their heart were always on evil only. And Adonai regretted that he had made humankind on the earth. It grieved his heart. And Adonai said, I will wipe out humankind whom I have created from the whole earth and not only human beings, but animals, the creeping things, the birds in the air, for I regret that I ever made them. But we see that Noah, he found grace in the sight of Adonai. In uh, Genesis 6, verse 9, it tells the history of Noah. And it says, in his generation, Noah was a man righteous and wholehearted, and that Noah walked with God. And we know that uh, Noah had three sons, uh, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And the earth was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. And an interesting thing, when we look at the Hebrew word for violence, it is Hamas. And so the name of Hamas means violence. So what do we expect uh, from the people with the name of Hamas or violence? So we see that God saw the earth, and yes, it was corrupt, and all living beings had corrupted their ways on the earth. Now, one of the things I find very interesting is we're going to go through here and look at uh, the parallels. Uh, maybe you have thought of this, and maybe you haven't. But we're going to look at this idea that in the beginning, God created, and then we see creation uh, back in Genesis 1, and then we see that the evil, the world gets so evil that Adonai is going to start all over, and he's going to do a recreation of creation. So maybe you haven't looked at these parallels before, but we're going to look a little bit at that uh, this evening. And again, these are parallels uh, of the creation that we see in Genesis 1, and then also uh, we see in Genesis 6 and 7 and 8. And I think you'll find it really interesting. One of the things uh, that I want to comment about is uh, we've looked at... Um, the beginning it says in the beginning elohim and the word elohim the i am makes it plural and so we see uh, in genesis 1 1 that in the beginning god this elohim this plurality is the one who is doing the creating and so we as believers in yeshua jesus we can understand that that is the father the son and the holy spirit it is the the triunity and it's not three separate gods so as we look at the story of noah and we go through uh, Genesis 6, 7, and 8, you see that, uh, that Adonai, and again, Philippians 2, 11, one of my favorite verses, if you look at it, it says, Adonai, it says, Jesus Yeshua is Adonai, Lord, Messiah, under the glory of God. So we see that Jesus is Adonai. And if you have a King James, that will be Lord, L-O-R-D, in all capitals. And so when you see Lord in all caps in your Bible, that is the tetragrammaton. That is the name that is so holy uh, that the Jewish people either say Hashem, the name, or they say Adonai. So in the New Testament, we see in Philippians 2.11 that the Bible tells us that Yeshua, Jesus, is Adonai, Lord in all caps. And that Lord in all caps, Adonai, was who was the presence in the burning bush. So as I go through here and I'm reading how Adonai saw that the people on earth were very wicked, we see that this is Yeshua. This is Jesus that is seeing these things. So we truly can see how Jesus is in the Old Testament as well as the New. And I know we know that, but sometimes it kind of hits us in the face when you realize that Lord in all caps, when you see Lord, that that is referring to Yeshua Jesus. So we see that he is the one who will wind up speaking uh, the words to uh, Noah and also to Moses as we go through the scriptures.